We had a question about GRE math. Here's our video response. So thanks, Danielle. So let's do a quick problem that someone sent in and see if we can make some progress. The problem reads something like, if x and y are primes and y is greater than x, then which of the following must be false? So one thing that kind of makes this problem a pain, but this sort of thing still ends up appearing on the GRE, is this state of must be false. So that means of all the answer choices, what has to be wrong all of the time, okay? So maybe we'll try this strategy. We'll pick numbers, we'll run through these. And if any of these numbers is right some of the time or at least once, Gotta kill it, right? Because if you're wrong all of the time, you can never be right. Okay. Yeah. So we've got to recall what primes are. So I know it's probably been a while, but do you remember how primes work? Your prime if the only thing that can divide you is yourself or one, without leaving a remainder. So what I mean by that is, take for example five. The only numbers that divide five nicely and evenly are either five or one. Anything else is going to leave a remainder, right? So some basic primes, for example, are two, three, five, seven, eleven, etc. One thing to notice for technical reasons, one is not a prime. Okay? So, let's look at this list. One other thing. So we're going to pick some primes at random, no big deal. I tend to start with simple numbers, so we don't have to do that much computation. But the other thing to keep in mind is, one of these guys is special. So give it a second to see if you think anybody here stands out. So, if you've taken a second, all of these have something in common. One thing is they're all odd. So, 2 is a special guy. 2 is kind of a freak. 2 is the only prime that's even. Because if you take any other even number, for example 14, it's divisible by 2. So you can always divide 2 into it, so there's no way it could be prime. Okay? So it turns out the only even prime is 2. And they're going to take advantage of that when they pose questions like this. So let's try this and see how things go. Remember, I gotta adhere to these rules when I'm picking numbers. So the only thing I have to know is, well, what's required is x and y are prime, and y has to be bigger than x. Okay, so let's try this. So for this, x plus y is prime. Let's just try the simplest numbers, 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Prime and prime gives you prime. I think this can work. And since this guy can work, he's gotta go. Remember, we're looking for the one that, can, that always has to be wrong. Okay, let's try this one out. x times y is odd. Well, if I tried my same numbers, 2 times 3 ends up being 6, it looks like this is wrong, but it always has to be wrong, right? So let's try another. Remember, 2 is kind of a freak, so try some other normal primes, normal quotes, right? So 3 times 5 is 15, that's odd. I guess this could be true. Got to send it away. Okay. How about x to the y? So x to the y is divisible by 2. Okay, well, let's see what that means. First, I'm going to decode this. We just talked about this. If you're divisible by 2, that's basically saying you're even. Right? Because every even number is divisible by 2. Okay? Odd numbers are not. So what I'm really trying to say here is x to the y is it even. Just starting with that. Right? So let's pick some numbers. So again, I'll make x 2. I'll make y 3. We get 8. 8 is definitely divisible by 2. Or 8 is even. Same thing. Right? So I guess this could be right. So Very interesting, John. Very interesting. So hopefully this will work out. So let's look at the last case. And if you guys are okay with it, let me take this away because I can get some, need some room. Okay, so y to the x is even. Let's try that out. First, I'm going to do a couple things here. There are two choices. Remember, if I look at the primes, everybody, remember, 2 is my freak. So all of these guys are going to be odd except for 2, right? So why don't we just pick a number where it's not 2? Okay, let's pick that to be y. If that were true, we would have some odd number, let's say 3, right? Um, and then y has to be bigger next, so actually let me start with 5. Say 5. And then raise into another prime, let's say in this case 3, okay? Or, you know, we could have said 3 and 2, any of these. 5 to the third is 125, so don't worry about computing that, we'll talk about that in a sec. 9 is, sorry. 3 squared is 9. Turns out both of these answers so looks like this is not going to be true. But let's be a little more systematic about it. What are they really trying to get at? They're trying to say if this number in here is odd, and you raise an odd to any power, it doesn't matter. What you're really doing is you're multiplying that odd by himself. In this right? case, it would be 5 so, times 5 times 5. So any way I run this, even over here, right? 3 times 3, it's going to be an odd times an odd. And these things are called rules of parity. If you ever forget them, it's no big deal. Just pick the easiest number you can think of that happens to be odd or even, right? Try the rules out, they'll always work. So what I mean by that is, what if I want to know what an odd times an odd is? Pick the easiest odd, say one. 
1 times 1 is 1, so it looks like odd times odd is odd. If you believe that, odd times odd is odd, and then odd times odd, we just reason that out, has to also be odd. Everybody agree? So, no matter how I run this, it's always going to be an odd number. Okay? But let me cover all bases. So it looks like this is going to work out. But I made one big assumption. I assume that I was dealing with an odd number to start out with. What about our friend 2? Two? 2 could mess things up, but this is how they're annoying. They cover their bases by saying this. x and y are primes. y is bigger than x. So when you look at this, y has got to be bigger than x. There is no way y could be 2, the case that would mess this up. Because if y were 2, what would x be? There is no prime smaller than 2. So I guess so. e has got to be it. But again, don't stress too much about this one particular problem. But see, again, that you can pick numbers, right? But when you're dealing with primes, remember the way they're going to play it. Remember what a prime is. Remember that they're going to play on the property that all primes are odd except for 2. So never forget to use 2 when you're trying out problems like this. Now I get it. <laughs>